All right, Mustangs, today we're gonna to learn how to create an intro page to your Splash projects. All right, so let's get to it. All right, in this video, you're going to use Animoto to create a splash screen, an intro screen to your videos. And let's go to Animoto. Mine says welcome back, because I already have an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my Gmail. So those of you signing in, you're gonna just create an account, okay? So I'm gonna use the Mustangs, your Mustangs Media, and then type in my password. And then it's gonna let me in. Once you log in with your account, everything will be here, okay? Um, I'm gonna use it for education. You can use photography or personal use, it's up to you. They do it for their records. All right, so once you sign in, you're gonna get this whole page, everything here. Um, it's a free account, it says up here. So we're gonna scroll down. You're gonna go to the one that says, I believe it's, where is it at? If you click on new, oh, it was right there. Sorry, it was right at the beginning. Self-introduction. Now watch the audio comes in pretty loud. So we're gonna use this one, okay? We're gonna use this horizontal template. Click choose template. Now, before you do all that, let's, let's skip that. And you can actually start the tour and watch it. And after you're done with that, it's gonna give you a little tour of everything, all the features, okay? So once you finish that, I want you to actually go back. Sorry, should have done this at the beginning. Go back to where you can see your name. Click on there and click account. Okay, and then I'm gonna give you the code to add in here, okay? Once they give you the code, you go ahead and type it in here and click apply, and it'll this will come up. All right, now you can click create, and it'll take you back to that same page. You're gonna click create here, Animoto 3, and then this will come up. Sorry, I jumped the gun a little bit there. All right, so we're gonna choose self-introduction. Click pause, so do that, and then click choose template. Click skip. All right, so here is where you start building. So um, at the right side is where are your, you can grab your images and create one on your own using these images, or you can actually upload your own design in the background. It's up to you. Some of you have taken this class previously or graphic design class, you wanna do your own intro as a background, you can. And uh, we're actually gonna call it here. Let's double click that, a splash intro, okay? and then put your name on there, like that. First initial, last name. Okay, so since I don't need this picture, I'm gonna put my own, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, actually, you can get rid of all these down here. We don't need these, so let's get rid of those. Again, you can build your own, your template. Your template won't have any of these. So we're just gonna use this one. I'm going to delete this picture. I don't need it. I'm gonna keep this text though this text though <laughs> all right so let's just say we came up with a name remember you got to come up with your production name i'm going to come up with uh, palm tree productions or i'm going to type in palm tree on the right side palm tree i'm going to look for or palm trees i'm going to look for palm trees or whatever you're looking for in your topic and for your intro page there i'm going to use this one click and drag it over centers it there in the middle now you can click on your text here. I'm gonna call it Palm Tree Productions. Palm Tree Productions. Okay, let me just check something real quick. Subtitle, we're good with that one. Okay, I don't need a subtitle. Let me make the size a little smaller. Oh yeah, it can do it, I just forgot. It gives you that limited. So there we go, it's centered there in the middle. Um, it has these features where you can change the colors, you know, if you want. It kind of gives it a theme, but we're using the whole image. You can change your layout, but don't try to use these. This is, these are too fancy. We don't want these because it covers most of the page. This is for other stuff. Just keep it full layout, okay? 
Then let's pick some music to go with it. Okay, well, let's play it. Let me see, so I'm gonna start this for my opening and then my movie will come in. All right, cool, that's what I want. Now, if I wanted to add music, click up here. I'll click quirky and then maybe add, you can actually, if you click over these, see if you click over them, it gives you a preview of the music. Right now that I have my text and my background, Palm Tree Productions, I'll pick a song, just a quick jingle to go with it. It's only three to five seconds, so you don't even have to have a music, but I'm gonna add one and just show you guys. Uh, let me see, let me just pick one. I have atmospheric checked. Let me try this one. Yeah, let me put this one, I'll click apply, click it, and then it's going to apply it down here at the bottom, depending on your internet connection and Wi-Fi, this will take a little longer than others. So let's hold on. All right, and there it is. So I'm only gonna use the first part of it. That's it. All righty, right here it says I have 21 seconds, but I'm not gonna use it, the whole 21 seconds. When you guys place this into your videos, in the app I'm gonna show you for next week or for our next time, you can trim this down. So don't worry about how long it is. You can go ahead and save it as you are now. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Click export. This is how you save it off of Animoto. You're gonna click export. You're gonna click download. And then it's going to give you the only, the only option is this 360 for now, okay? Until we get an account with Animoto, where I can have you guys share at a higher resolution, then we'll lend that to you guys. But for now, use the 360. Right here, it'll say MP4, click on MP4, and then it'll download, okay? You can actually um, download it here as well, okay? Where, see how it's processing? Once that image comes up in the first, you can click in the background, and it shows you how it's finalizing, okay? Then once you're done, click the download button to download it and you're all set then upload it to your uh, canvas page all right and that's how you create a quick splash screen in your um, animoto account using your chromebook